joins us now. John, good evening. Tell me, did Chad Townsend deserve to get sent from the field? Oh, yeah, g'day, guys. Um, oh, look, that's a tough one. Obviously, you know, the, my bias, Sharks opinion. Um, you know, I think in hindsight, I would, I would have liked to see him left on the field and, you know, maybe a sin, sin bin was sufficient. But, um, you know, I think you need to look at the circumstances around it as well. You know, like Kalen's coming back there for a quick seven tackle set and, um, you know, the ref called time off. Uh, which Kalen obviously stopped and, and Chatty didn't hear the, the whistle and he's obviously gone on with the contact and Kalen sort of relaxed and that sort of uh, exacerbated the force and, and made it look a little bit worse than what it was. But, you know, we can't condone shoulder charges in our game and he was charged with a grade three <laughs> shoulder charge, which we took the early clue to. So I'm certainly not uh, defending Chatty there. He, um, you know, he got it wrong. Um, and, you know, he's going to have to have three weeks on the sideline now and, and we'll have to do it without him. So, um, but yeah, I'm not sure, mate. There's been divided opinion on the game whether he should have went or not, and you know we've just got to get on with it now. Were the Sharks out to target Callum Ponger on Friday night? No, nah, definitely not targeting, mate. He's obviously a, a very classy player uh, that's on the top of your tip, tip sheet uh, every week. You know, he's um, he's one of the best in the game. But um, we certainly weren't targeting with any sort of foul play. I know he copped a, a knock on his nose there early in the game from an accidental contact uh, with Braden Trindle which I suppose made his whole night look a little bit rough with all the blood over his face. But, um, you, know, you know, you don't go out there and try and target a player like, like Kalen, especially one out like that. You know, the best way to defend him is staying in the system and not shooting out of the line because, you know, with his footwork and athleticism that he has, he's got the ability to, you know, to stand you up and break a lot of tackles. So we weren't out to target him. But, um, you know, if we were, we didn't do too good. He scored three tries and ran for over 200 metres and had about 14 tackle breaks. So he... He had a night out and, and he proved his worth to the Newcastle club, that's for sure. John, so you've got no Chad Townsend this weekend and you've got no Wade Graham. How tough has it got now for the Sharks heading into the finals? Yeah, no doubt, Kenny. It's, um, it's made a lot more challenging for us. Um, you know, obviously losing our captain in Wade, you know, we'll, we'll miss his leadership um, and his experience. And then just all around class, you know, he's a, there's no real player like him, I think, with his ability to play out there on the edge back row, you know, his ability to run, pass, kick is, um, you know, certainly a, a potent part of our, our game. But, um, you know, and even Chatty, obviously, is uh, our halfback and, and game manager. But, you know, with, with that bit of adversity comes some opportunity. And um, in good news, we get Sean Johnson back this week, um, you know, which is a uh, real shot in the arm for us. Uh, he'll come in there and, um, you know, and, and guys like, you know, Sifa Talakai, uh, Teague Wilton, uh, they'll get an opportunity out there on the edge. So, you know, Chatty's missed four or five games this year. We've managed to to win a few games when he's been out. Uh, Wade has actually played every game, so we haven't had to play about him this year. So no doubt a challenge for us, but as I said, made an opportunity for some younger guys to get a crack. So he's currently sitting in eighth position and we're heading and uh, getting to the pointy end of the season now. Uh, and one of the anomalies, I suppose, about the Sharks is you haven't beaten a top eight side this year. So what's that say about your team at the moment? Yeah, Kenny, probably just a, a little bit, obviously, inconsistent against the, the sides above us. You know, in saying that, we... We did perform well against um, you know, Melbourne early in the year. You know, we kept them to 14 points. Um, we scored more tries and got beat against Parramatta, kept them to 14 points. Um, you know, we're still yet to run out our best 17. I think we've had... Uh, this will be our sixth halves combination on the weekend. So, you know, I, I'm really waiting for that moment where we can run out our best 17 and, and really see how we stand up to them. But there's no doubt I was, I was really disappointed with our performance on the weekend, um, given where Newcastle sat on the ladder one point above us. Uh, I thought it was a real opportunity for us to come out and, and um, cement our spot in the eight. And, you know, we were unable to do that. And, um, you know, we're really disappointed with it. So, you know, we've got a huge game this week, mate, against the Warriors, who are obviously coming to get some sides in the eight. And, um, you know, this is going to be like a finals-like game for us uh, on Sunday. So, Sharks fans will be sitting out there watching this interview wondering, you know, is my team the real deal in 2020? So, tell us, why are the Sharks genuine premiership contenders? Oh, Benny, I think we've got all the belief in the world. You know, we've got, we've, we've got a really good roster. Um, we've got guys who have been there and done it. Obviously, Wade and Chad, premiership winning players. Andrew Fafita, premiership winning player. Um, you know, Sean Johnson, Josh Dugan, Aaron Woods, all international players. Um, I think we've got the experience there, mate. We've, you know, we've unearthed some, some really good talent this year. The guys like Toby Rudolph, Sipper Talakai, uh, Royce Hunt, you know, um, and, and some exciting youth in our team in Sione Katoa and... Uh, Blake Braley, Jesse Raymond. I think we've got the players, mate. But it's about it's about getting it done, you know. And we've got to, we've got to aim up. And um, and for us, it's about you know one week at a time, which is a big game this this week against the Warriors. You know, we're we're not looking anything past this game, and we're certainly not in the finals yet. So 
I kind of banned that that F word, so to speak, <laughs> with all my playing squad, because um, you know if we if we think we're there, we're kidding ourselves. We've got a lot, there's a lot of um, tough games to go with a with a tough front home and Warriors, Roosters, and Raiders for us. So you know we've got we've got a big game this week, mate, and we've got to we've got to earn the right to play in the finals. And for, for you personally, you're two years into this head coaching caper. Uh, how would you describe the experience thus far? Oh, look, it's been a, it's been a great journey, Benny. Um, something I've, it's been an honour, you know, a real honour to coach this club. Um, you know, I'm learning every day. Um, you know, obviously challenging. There's been a lot of setbacks right from the word go. But, um, you know, we have all that has, has created some great opportunity. Um, you know, for our club, and we've brought through. I think I've, I think I've debuted 10, 10 rookies um, since I took over, which has been it's really exciting for me. It's a great part of the job, you know, giving people the NRL debuts. Um, and out of those 10, I think we've resigned most of them, mate. So that's been you know something else that's really exciting, building our future. Um, you know, really setting us, ourselves up for long-term success for the youngsters we've got coming through. Um, so you know, out of that, we played finals football last year, which was um, you know which was a good result, although we bowed out. You know, too early for my liking, and um, you know, if we if we bunker down and, and make something of this next three weeks, you know, hopefully we can play finals football again and and go on a run and do some damage. But you know, it's been a great journey, mate. I'm loving every minute of it. Well, John Morris, good luck. Uh, the race to finals has begun, and uh, we really appreciate your time tonight on NRL 360. No worries, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, John Morris, head coach of the Cronulla Sharks. Do they play finals this year? Not if they lose this week. Good answer. All right, we're going to take a break.